So still working on that process for Pitt. As we mentioned too, Dejanette Harris was someone that we featured. She is going to be coming off of the bench. Another empty possession for Ball State, but you can see how their emphasis so far has been trying to get it inside. But Pitt said we can do it a little bit better. A nice dish on the inside. A team that definitely competes. You already mentioned it in the open. They played Notre Dame earlier this season to no prevail. But a nice ditch on the inside. That one going to Leah Tugheen once again. Once you get past the first level of guards, the post players have to step up and guard you, right? And then the pit, Pitt's post players are getting just into the pocket as finally Ball State breaks through this game. Behind the back by Amy Hayford. She dishes it out. Short shot clock. Lee Tu King gets it with two on the shot clock and gets another one, Brooke. You have to either react if you see it right away, or if you don't, it's okay to hesitate and take a beat and just read their feet or their body and then go after it. And that's the sixth straight possession for Pitt with a bucket. Finding talent, oh, he's is, that, is that, he's all right? He's not too shabby. <laughs> he definitely coached me at Florida State. And if we're talking about a team that has grown exponentially on the defensive end, to try to find that flow again. So we give credit to Coach and, and Ball State for really changing up and saying, all right, we're not going to let a quarter go by before we get it together. Oh, there's now, Allie Becky making her entrance. Players that everyone has their eye out on. She was in our open as they were close to a turnover at the top of the key. No three has, threes have been made to this point. Knocking down the three on the other end. Right now, Ball State looking to add on to their run and do you know. for the lead. They are now on a 13-0 run. Ball State with the two-point lead. Get the ball underneath, and what a dish mm -hmm. as they take the two-possession lead to close out the quarter. Look underneath, bounces around a little bit. Gonna find an answer now. She was directing the offense pretty well for Pitt. Ball State gets a bucket at one point, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> he, That's not he, he how was he <laughs> He was my Take coach, and he definitely didn't bring my name up as on the other side. What a beautiful look for Alex oh, Richards. Yes. Whether it's in the classroom or on the floor, he can rely on at any given time. Free throw good for Pitt, which makes it another tie ball game. But how about the second three going down for Ball State? So you felt like that shot was a bit hurried. Yeah, there's so much potential. And, and that's one thing I, I, oh, oh, wait a minute now. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Stop you in your tracks, Allie Becky. Stop with the snatch and score. Oh, look at Dejanette. She said she's pushing me off. <laughs> she got the Brian Russell, too. I told you. <laughs> Beck it gets them at the halftime, so they eventually went on to win that ball game. We'll see what they can do here. Oh, the two a king on the board, though, with the Euro. That's incredible. Ball State won the first period 16 to 12 right now. Pitt winning that department 14 to 10 in the second. So Leah Two King, her ears must have been burning because she has been on a tear in this second part of the second quarter. 13 points for her as she was held at eight for quite some time. Uh, P uh, Ball State answering the call, but Pitts, Leah Two King, yeah, she decided to try to make something happen. Oh, how about up. the block <laughs> from Dazenette Harris and Ball State? They must got wind of that one because they're trying everything in their power to change it. And they get the three ball to start as they build on their three-point lead. Amy Hafer can't respond with a three of her own. You see more of a sense of urgency for Ball State getting the ball in transition. Quick dish out and back-to-back -back threes. We'll bring it up the floor for the Panthers. She's sitting with three fouls. Amy Hafer gets a nice look on the roundabout. Ball State shooting 39%, but the key here is Ball State has already hit six threes. Pitt, who found some ways to be a little bit more balanced with the three. A nice inside look and a nice and one as Alex Richard checks in and gets the bucket to go for the and one. Head off into their transition. Quick look on the inside. 
And how about that? Alex Richard has been the hot hand in a quick timeout. Appreciate your, your patience and your hard work, partner. Thank you for holding it down in my absence. I am with I, you the rest of the way, I promise. I missed it, but how about a bucket from Pitt right out of the timeout? And it was much needed. The spacing, all of it. I want to revisit the fact that Coach Sally for Ball State is not going to shy away from playing Power 5 schools. That's another bucket. And right now they're third in the ACC in three-point percentage. Like They've made that a, a point to get better. That's a nice, easy play. Leading third quarter with 14-10 advantage. And get a nice look underneath. Sneaky. And you have to play with a chip on your shoulder, especially against a big power school like this. And you have to act as if you, you're being disrespected, even if you aren't. You have to play like it. Nice and one. Number 18 ranked UCLA December 30th in the Sun Bowl. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes down for Pitt. Pitt controlling the pace at this point. Dejana Harris has been a big part of it, and you can see why. If you give her an opportunity to score or if the offense is lagging, I love it. She's a, a take charge kind of player. Player off the bench who can come in and, and hit a three-point shot. That is so valuable. Pitt over oh, Pitt okay. from three. Ball State. Immediately, Amber Brown asking for the ball. Gets the bump. Gets the bucket as well. You cannot look back and be like, we let a Ball State team come into our house and beat us on our floor. No way. A look underneath will give Ball State the two-point lead once again. So I tell you okay that, now. Coach White did not stand for it, and I wanted to be on the floor as much as possible. <laughs> and that's how I knew I could find a spot on the floor. Nice dish pass on the inside in the end one. Her season best prior was 11 points at Tennessee Tech. That's a nice move. There's Harris with the spin. Her explosive speed. 885 points. Looking to become that 10th player with a 1,000 Ball State. How about the nice look on the inside with the Cardinals in a four-minute scoring drought? Team shooting 70% from the free throw line that rolls around about every spot of the rim and eventually finds its home at the bottom of the net, tied at 60. Can't connect on the second. King. Going at Richard. And guess what? This one's going into overtime. For Bischoff, as full steam ahead, Amber Brown was having the night of her life in the fourth quarter. Pump fake, and a block call. How about the end one for Leah Tukey? Ball State, fourth game in nine days, trying to see if they can finish off before their eight-day break. They've given the Cardinals some issues as they work with a short shot clock. Five that they have to work with at the top of the key. Clefane turned it down, but ties this one at 64. They still have one left in the ball game. Ball State with two. 145 to left, 130 rather left in the ball game. And how about the three that goes down? Hits her third three of the ball game. Now she's sitting at 13. Rolls out for Lewis. Clean up play for Leah Two King. They have the one point lead with less than a minute now to play. Ball State 7-2 coming into this one. Shooting 30% from distance this season. This entire game. Holly Becky with 10 points. Two triples at the top of the key. Calls a number for a three. Rims out. With seven seconds left. Right away, Amber Brown is given the ball. This is not the way. And how about Anna Clefane able to track it down? One point 
One left. Has three points, one for two in the ball game. So the Panthers, four and one at home. She misses the second one on purpose. And you can see here how Ball State walks away.